no titanic project and no coaching institute project these are some of the thumb rules that you need to remember when you are choosing data science project for your resume welcome to unfold data science my name is aman and i am a data scientist in this video i am going to tell you data science project ideas irrespective of your experience irrespective of your educational background let's see guys first of all as i said these two things you have to remember what i mean by no titanic project is no irish data set project no boston data set project no some of the known projects in the industry why because that does not make any difference between your resume and someone else's resume avoid all these projects in all scenarios okay second is if you take a project from a coaching institute there is a big possibility that i as a recruiter or interviewer would have seen some other resume which is having exactly this same project hence again your resume is not standing out okay in this video i am going to explain you what makes let me write here what makes your resume stand out what makes resume stand out guys you have to understand one thing here uh as a interviewer i should be interested in your story in your projects in the work you have done then only i will be interested to take you right so you have to present yourself like that so what makes it happen i am going to tell you five pointers that you need to remember and i am also going to tell you how do you execute those five things okay first of all guys the very first point i want to tell you here is create your own data i will tell you what i mean by that create your own data so what i mean by creating your data is whenever you are using any data for the analysis for your machine learning project right try to get it through some kind of either apis okay or try to get it through some database okay or try to get it through web scraping now all these things are not very difficult to do but this is not something which all the people will do hence your project will look different let me show you in google once what i mean here okay so if i go here uh, let me go to my google and start a new uh, window and here i can say for example um, you know uh, i want to do a text analytics okay so collect tweet using api python okay collect tweet using api python so what i am doing i am trying to use an api for collecting tweets it's not very difficult to do any of these links you open you will be able to do it very very easily okay similarly if i want to do a facebook analysis collect facebook post using api python it's not again difficult you can get some very good help on the internet you can do it why i'm telling you to do it because not many people will be doing it and your profile or your resume or your project will look different okay suppose this is using api you are collecting facebook data etc i want to collect some normal from some web scraping right so uh, you know collect the data using web scraping python so this is again not difficult to do see step by step process is given in some of the posts right so what will happen if you do like this your resume will look different okay i mean the import data another thing i want to tell you here don't do a pd.read_csv because as i keep saying this is not the way we read data in the industry even if you are doing pd. i mean you are using a input data as an excel or csv put that in a local database create a mysql database or oracle database local instance put that data in that and then with a connector connect to that okay don't use read, under, read underscore csv that is your point number 1 now let's come back here so create your own data what i mean to say is either do a api or web scraping or get it from the database okay now we will see another point which is version control must be present in your project in some way okay so what is the meaning of version control see if i want to hire you in my organization i want to hire you because i want somebody who is ready to work on the project okay and who is ready to work on the project who understands various aspect of coding 
for example, version control, for example, merging, for example, pulling, pushing, right? What you have to do if you are starting from scratch, you have to just come here and say GitHub common commands. Okay, GitHub common commands. You will find some of the basic GitHub commands. There are very good links here. Just no need to go into much detail. Any of these links you can open. You can just see what are some of the basic GitHub commands. Remember that host your code on Git. Okay, host your code on Git. Paste that link in your resume whenever you are sharing your code base with someone. Paste that in resume and understand all these things. What is the meaning of checkout? What is the meaning of push? What is the meaning of pull? All these things in some way or other, if you are able to show that you have done in your project, right? That is going to be very, very useful for you. Third point I want to talk about here is you must introduce modularization of the code. Okay, modularize your code. What is the meaning of modularizing your code, guys? Try to write in a um, object-oriented fashion or uh, you know um, a way in which a production-ready code is written. Let me give you some example here. Suppose um, I'm writing a data cleaning function. Okay, so I will just go and say here df. I will say here df and I will say my call. Okay, and I will say some logic, some cleaning logic here, this side. Okay, and the same cleaning logic I'm applying on multiple data sets, multiple times. Okay, so this logic goes inside a, you know, method that method goes inside a class and you know every time you want to call this you know a group of functionalities you you create an object of a uh, of that class and then call those methods so what you are doing you are introducing a modularization in your code so if you write your code simple you know line by line execution first line second line third line that does not look very very professional okay so you have to somehow see how you can write smart code how you can write efficient code modularized code and that code if you put in your git and somebody takes a look at your git that is when your project will stand out from the rest and this this point i have put a lot of focus in my in my course data science zero to hero you can see the link here and check out the course if you want okay next thing i want to put here is you must introduce pipelines in your code this is again something which not many people are doing and if you do it properly then definitely you will have you know uh, your project will look good in front of the recruiters what are the pipelines so suppose you are doing some kind of feature engineering some kind of data cleaning some kind of data analysis some kind of um, you know uh, uh, different kind of modification of the data all that, whatever happens with the training data, same has to happen with the test data, how it goes through different pipelines. I have a detailed video. I am giving the link here. You can see in the description as well. And you can see that video and you can try to see how you can create pipelines in your code. Okay. So it's not very difficult to do again, but that will help you to look different in front of the recruiter. Okay. And what is the next point before going on to the next point guys if you want to know what is the best project or right project for your resume right so here i am telling what makes your project good or what makes your project different but again what is the right project for you so i don't believe that there can be one right project for everybody out there the right project for you depends on multiple factor and just to say you in short there has to be an uh, intersection of your skill set with uh, your project, your educational experience with your project. So I have explained that also in this video, I will give you the link in description as well, okay? And the last point which I want to mention here about pipe after pipelines is you must have a front end, must have a front end. Why? Because anytime somebody wants to take a look at what you have done, okay? What you have done. Anybody can go to a website or anybody can go to an app or anybody can go to a place where they can see or view your, your work, right? So if you don't have a front end, then what you will display to if somebody asks you, right? So this is again, very, very important. Not a difficult thing to do. I have created video on how to do that in Flask, how to do that in Django. I will give you the link in the description again. Take the reference from that video. So you can basically take reference for all those things. First of all, you can take reference of 
what is right project for your resume. You can take reference of how to monitorize your code, how to pipeline and how to create a front end. Version control you can learn from the Git and about the AP, how to fetch data in APIs, how to push that in DBs, how to do web scrapping. Most of these things are on my channel as well, but still you can Google and look for some more resources on this. Okay, so don't get into the mindset of data science project. Somebody will give me a project and I will just put that in my resume and showcase it. No, end of it, you have to do it project. It's your project. Do own your project, okay? End to end. And what are the ingredients what will make your project different and special? All these ingredients, okay? And then you will rock in the interview, believe me, guys. So this was all about this video, guys. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and please subscribe to the channel if you have not done yet. I will see you all in the next video wherever you are. Stay safe and take care.